Hey, how's it going? To me, selections are the most important part in Photoshop. Whether you want to manipulate a color or do anything you want to a specific part of a picture, selections are the most important. Now remember kids, selections are only as good as your edges. Huh? Huh? Yeah. I got this picture of this Telecaster uh, graphic from my friend Andrew Starkey and he wanted to know how can I get the best uh, picture inside or on the pick guard. Well with selections and a clipping mask I'll show you exactly how to do it. Let's go. Alright let's see if we can grab a good selection of this pick guard here. So first let's go to W or quick selection tool. I will go right here, hold your shift button down, we'll go here, now hold your alt button down, we'll clean up this mess and go around here, we don't want the pickup, now shift button again, let's grab the strings, alt button, fix up this bit here, now Q for the quick mask, and we've already got a good selection of the pick guard. Now let's grab the screws all over the place here. So we'll zoom in. And what you do is you go to your brush, make it a little bit bigger, make sure 100% flow, 100% opacity, and make sure you're painting in black. Now let's just go around here and here. Oh, got one here. I think we've got one up top here. We'll scroll down. We got one here. Got one here. Now we got a little bit of a mess. We got to clean up here. Said key to zoom in. Your brush, reduce your brush a bit. Hit the X key to paint in white. I'll just go around there. Do the same on this side. Just a touch. Any mistakes, you can always hit your key, X key, and fix it. Now here. Let's grab this section here. Now, the thing we got to do here, dab, hold your shift key down, and grab that section. I think I missed a bit here, too. Now, we don't want the strings. So, R for rotate, and rotate your canvas. Let's zoom out a bit. What we'll do, go back to your brush. Make your brush, what I've seen in the past, will make your brush about six or seven pixels. Let's make it seven this time. Get your shift key ready. Dab, shift, and go to the end of the string. Dab, and go to the end. Try to get it in the middle, and go to the end. All right, cool. R for rotate, escape to get out. And let's scroll at the bottom here. Notice there's a couple of parts we gotta clean up. Brush key. Now, what we'll do, we'll paint white. And we'll dab here. And get out. Let's clean up this mess here. Can always go back and fix it. X. Now, again, make sure you're painting with white. Dab, hold your shift key down and go across. Now, don't forget there, you have a bit of a string here. There we go. Now we zoom out. Now, the only other thing I can see is up here. 
Z key. Make sure you're painting with white. And let's just clean that up. Anything you want to clean up, just go ahead and clean it up. Now we'll zoom out. Clean up this right about here. Now we got a pretty good selection. Zoom out. And what we'll do, hit the Q key. And now go over here and do a mask. Now, all right, now we're at the point where we want to put something on the pick guard here. So let's go to File, Place Embedded. Got a picture of some stars here I want to place. Hit Place, just hit Done. Now hit Control Alt G, that'll create a clipping mask. Hit the V key, and now you can move around the stars anywhere you want on the pick guard. Now, if it's not stars you want, then let's remove that layer. And how about a pattern? So we'll go down here, pattern. Oh, I'm going to pick fabric. Just hit OK. And again, Control Alt G. And it's right on there. Now, at this point, you may want to sharpen up your mask. So click on the layer mask, let's zoom in a bit. And watch the screw heads here and the side. Hit Control L for your levels. Bring your gray slider over and it makes it just a little bit better for you. White slider clears it up as well. Bring the black over maybe if you wish. You don't have to, just do it to taste. Now, hold your Alt key down, and we'll remove the clipping mask, because we've altered the layer mask, and we hit Control G again, and we're back. Zoom out, V key, and we're moving around a pattern. You can place any picture on here, and it'll be on the pick guard for you. You can alter the pattern, throw the scale a little bit differently, or whatever you wish. And you've got your pick guard. Cool. This turned out great. You can put any picture or graphic you want on the Telecaster pick guard and maybe have it done for you. If this video helped you at all, please like and subscribe. You won't break a nail. I'm Don from Photo 911. See ya.